Hello children, we're back again. Remember in our previous lesson, we talked about the duties and rights of a citizen. Today, we'll be looking at indigenous people. Every country has people who are born into that country. Just as we in Nigeria, we are born into Nigeria and whose ancestors were also born there. Every country also has people who move there from other countries or localities. We can divide these people into two groups, which are the indigenous and indigenous people and non-indigenous and non-indigenous people. Indigenous or indigenous people are people who are born and raised by parents whose forefathers were the original land owners. Land owners are the people that own the land. Our forefathers are members of the past generation of one's family or people and ancestors. The indigenous people are also known as natives. They keep the traditions and customs of their regions. Why the non-indigenous or non-indigenous people become members of a locality by migrating or moving from where they are to that locality? They may move there temporarily or stay there permanently. Their parents and grandparents did not originally come from that locality. They had to migrate from their locality to that locality. There are many indigenous people in Nigeria, including the Angas, the Chamba, the Ijo, the Hausa, the Yoruba, and the Igbo people. Nigeria has nearly 215 ethnic groups. An ethnic group is a group of people who come from the same place and who share a language and culture. Each ethnic group has its own unique dialect, that is the language, religion, and tradition. And they also have their local festival, their food, and their works of arts. In Nigeria, we have three major ethnic groups, and they are the biggest or rather largest ethnic group in Nigeria. These ethnic groups are the Hausa, the Yoruba, and the Igbo. These three ethnic groups, they make up almost 70% of Nigerians' population. Here we are going to talk about them one after the other. The Hausa people are the largest tribe in Nigeria. They make up 25% of Nigerians' population. Hausa land is concentrated in the northern Nigeria, situated between the river Nanja and Lake Chad. Islam is the main religion of the Hausa and is said to have been brought by traders from Mali and Guinea during their trade exchange. Apart from English, the Hausa people also speak Hausa language. The Hausa people also live in other parts of the country. The Hausa created states and towns such as Kanu, Rano, Biram, Duram, and Kastina. Dwara is the oldest city in Hausa land. The Yorubas are the second largest tribe in Nigeria. They make up 21% of Nigerians' populations. The Yoruba states are located in southwest and north central region of Nigeria. However, speakers of Yoruba can also be found in countries like Benin Republic and Togo. The Yoruba practice Christianity and Islam, while a minority of them still follow ancestral traditional belief. Which is the Yoruba mythology, that is, the traditional story where life began is held at the spiritual center of the Yoruba tribe. 
The Oba is the head of their administration. Odudua is the founder of the Yoruba civilization, that is development. The Ibos are descendants of Unri Kindo, the oldest in Nigeria. They have many customs and traditions and can be found in the southeast of Nigeria. They make up 18% of the Nigerians' populations. The Igbo people also have their traditional beliefs. But after colonization, the majority of them converted to practice Christianity, with a large number becoming Catholic. The Igbo people also play an important part in Nigerian oil trade because most of the natural resources are found within Igbo land. The Igbo people can be found in places like Abia, Anambra, Benue, Enugu, etc. Enugu is the capital of mainland Igbo. Why Ezeri is their ancestral home? Where indigenous people live. Nigeria has a large number of indigenous people. These people live in communities with their own people. They live in different locations. These are the three main locations where they live. We have number one, the ancestral compound. Here is the ancestral compound. And they also live in palaces of traditional rulers. This is an example of a palace of a traditional ruler. And also, they live in the compounds of traditional priests. Here is an example of traditional priests. I know you had fun learning about indigenous and non-indigenous. Can't wait to have you in our next class. Bye, kids!